Now, what is the biggest mistake you see first-time screenwriters make? Um, the biggest mistake screenwriters make. I would say the biggest mistake all writers, new writers make, and even a few that are like along the way, is not recognizing a lot of people go, you know, if I get it really good the first time, it'll save me time on editing. You know, I can edit and write at the same time. I can multitask. I can work with my iPad and watch TV at the same time. So I can edit and write at the same time. And then they sit down, which in really editing, is using a completely different part of your brain than writing. It's a completely, it's as different as the difference between, oh, I'm just doing an analogy, but it's as different as the difference between skiing and eating a banana. Right. I mean, it's like there's, they have <laughs> nothing to do with each other. Now, I suppose you could ski while you're eating a banana. But Not well. <laughs> The thing is, the thing is, it's, it's like it's really they're 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 mutually exclusive activities, and and what I find is the effect is like when people do that and they go, that wait, that's where you get into the it was a dark and stormy night. Oh no no no, that sucks. <laughs> it, was, it, it was a shadowy and rainy night. Oh, that's worse. You know? and, <laughs> This is the recipe for complete writer's block and paralysis, mm -hmm. where you're trying to make qualitative decisions about things that are just dumping out of your head. Okay, right. you cannot do it. You cannot do that. You can't do it. It is like like pegging the accelerator and the brake on your car at the same time. You're gonna make shitloads of noise and a lot of smoke, but the car ain't going anywhere. OK, and so it's like it's like understand that, you know, when you sit down to write, you write like you're being pursued through the jungle by a bunch of guys with machetes. You don't think about it. You go you can be thinking, oh, this is shit. I know it's shit, but I've got to get through this scene. OK, I know what the next scene's going to be and just get through it, get, get through it, get through it, get through it right forward. Don't I mean, what? For Christ's sake, when you sit down to write, don't sit down and read everything you've written before you write, okay? Because now you're editing again. Stop that. No. <laughs> so you just sit down, you read the last few words, and you go, oh, yeah, that's where I left off, and you just pick it up. And you you have to write like you're just – now, and it's okay. If, you're, if you go off of your outline, that's all right. If something happens and the character takes you in a direction you didn't expect to go – Great. Okay. You know, and sometimes those are great moments. And so go ahead. But as long as you get back onto your, you know, onto the path again and, mm -hmm. and, and arrive at your trajectory and arrive at your ending, but just get that first draft out and get it out as quickly as humanly possible. And, and I can guarantee you that the parts that you thought while you were writing them were just shit on ice. Actually, you'll reread them and you go, well, this isn't bad. And the stuff you thought where you were, oh, my God, I must be channeling, you know, uh, Eugene O'Neill, you know, <laughs> it's just garbage, you know. And so it's like it's like you have no way of knowing how well you're doing while you're creating. You can't be. You know, so that's yeah. another reason. So so my advice to writers is understand that process and understand editing and, 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 and writing and editing, the creative process and the editing process are two completely different things and um you know and and don't try to don't try to multitask that it never goes well